so we've got a needle and we've got a syringe. Um, do we have a paper towel? We have another paper towel? Okay. So we have our three samples. And each contains about 1.2 milliliters. So we're going to test one sample at a time. So our drift is down low. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go, let's just set it up. We're going to go PPM, right? We're going to go weight on weight. Okay. So then I need to load this up and tear it, right? That's right. So we're going to do that. We're going to, we're going to pop the top. We're going to pull our sample in. Take as much as we can. I think we got that all. Now we're going to get the air out. So we're going to hold it up like this. Okay. Okay, so we're basically prepping our needle. I think we got it. Uh, everything's out of the ampule. So now we're going to weigh the needle. I don't think I can lay it down, can I? Okay. Okay, so we're going to tear the weight to zero. That's how we're going to run the test. And so we're going to go here. Right, so zero point zero. Enter, and now we're ready to do a test. So we're going to inject our sample, and we're going to press the start button, and then we're going to reweigh our needle. So here we go. Drift is at two. All right, in, inject, start, pull out, and weigh. So we're going to, looks like this is uh, only recorded, it's not really 1.2 grams, it's 0 0.6698. Okay, uh, my initial observation is that this particular product does have a lot of particles, but it looks like it's breaking down. It doesn't look like it's uh, not breaking down, I should say. And it is counting micrograms as we speak, so it's, uh, um, okay, so the test is over, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in the, the weight. In this case, it's 0 0.6699, 0 0.699, and hit enter. So our initial test is telling us that uh, it found 161.218 parts per million. Uh, so that's definitely, let's see, 0.1% is 1,000 ppm, and 0 0.01 is 100. So we're down in the 0.01% range. And what we're going to do now is we're going to run repeated tests. Our drift is back at, at 7. And our goal is to see if we can get some repeatability with the three tests. And so uh, we're going to use the same syringe, and we're just going to let this uh, the unit uh, run for a minute to make sure that it's all settled out. I do notice that there's a drift in here, and um, I'm, I'm just curious if, um, if that's just normal drift that's in there or if there's anything remaining from the sample. So... Uh, I'm looking at the sample. It looks like it. One thing we can do anytime we want, if we have a solubility issue, we want to make sure we're getting everything broken down, is we can add some xylene into the vessel, into the cell, and uh, to ensure that we're getting complete breakdown of the sample. But it doesn't look too bad. We've seen some, some really nasty crude that really globs up, and you can really tell that uh, there's pockets that aren't breaking down. That's not the case here.